Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm the one they call Peachy Pie and you're most welcome to join me here. Now you may think that I'm exploiting the Johnny Depp Amber Heard situation a little bit too much, but that is not the case at all. Every time I think I'm done with it, I think of something else about the situation that I haven't addressed yet and then I'm like, oh, okay, now I'm gonna make a video. Fine. <laughs> I think that it's good for everybody to just put the situation behind them. But there's still quite a lot of things to discuss. And today we're going to be looking at how Amber can potentially salvage her reputation. Okay, I know this is going to be a little bit difficult for some people to accept because everybody just wants to go, well, majority of people just want to go, take Amber down release her from her contracts, get her kicked out of the movie industry, all that stuff like that. But I'm going to just pose this question to you. How would you feel if after you did something awful at work, everybody said your career is now down the toilet? Maybe it's something you deserved, but if you've been working on that career for like 15 years, what are you going to do? <laughs> How are you going to like change your life around in an instant and make finances happen for your own family? I mean, that's virtually impossible in most cases so i don't think that amber needs to be kicked out of the film industry however i do think that she needs to repair her reputation by being maybe just slightly a lot more honest with <laughs> her intentions and um, by doing a couple things that i sat down and thought about so let's get into them the first thing that she i think amber should do is focus on actually donating the money even in small increments or even just adjusting her statement to say, I can't afford to donate $7 million, especially um, in light of the verdict that has come out of the trial. So I'm going to donate 500000 to get started. And over time, we'll see. You know, I, I really think that would actually salvage her reputation. But there would still be some people being salty about it. But it's better than saying, I use pledge and donates anonymously nobody does that it's only you so i do think that she should work on that first secondly i think that amber needs to do some volunteer work with both female and male victims of abuse and victims of abuse from other genders or non-genders for that matter because abuse is not just a male and female thing it's an everybody on everybody thing and that's what makes it so dangerous and so insidious it's so hidden because we have these preconceived notions of what abuse looks like and it's concerning for me when she says things like i wasn't hitting you i, I, I was just hitting you i wasn't taking you and that means i didn't abuse you because that tells me that there's some antiquated notion of abuse is only one directionally gendered and that's very very flawed thinking so i think that amber could benefit from doing a lot more charity work and being a lot more involved in organizations that would teach her more about abuse from different genders and different age groups and different perspectives and also i think that it would do a lot more to putting the public at ease when considering amber's actions her past actions and in order to take sort of like remedial action for the things that she has done and said in her own personal life as well okie dokie then number three she could do some films on the independent circuit um you know not like major films um, do some things that she could maybe uh, scrounge up some money to do herself uh, to executive produce some films and those kind of things um, you know just to lay low for a while until all the tension and everything dies down it might take some time a couple months to a year or so C celebrity gossip and news is just always running wild so eventually there will be another story that may even be big enough to completely eclipse the whole situation between Johnny and Amber and people after a while would just go okay we've had six weeks of the trial plus a couple weeks of people talking about it still and now we're done and you know then people would lose interest so it could blow over in a couple months for her um, unless, she, the, unless she's going to be taken to court for perjury then it's not going to blow over in a very short while but if that doesn't happen in this particular case then, um, you know, doing some work on the independent circuit, staying out of the media's main focus of attention would be a good idea. Um, another thing that I think that she should do is work on her acting. 
no that is not a joke nor is it an insult what i mean is that she should work on doing movies and taking roles that are going to draw attention for award categories right like oscars or tonys or any of those type of things she should work on those kind of movies because you have to acknowledge even if you don't like an individual you have to acknowledge their hard work and their achievements in areas of excellence right so the person for example in accounting can be a really really terrible gossip however if that person is a really excellent at the job you kind of have to acknowledge that so i think it would be to amber's benefit to work on her acting maybe get some more classes or just pick roles that are focused on these type of awards right and the last thing you might not expect this um, but the last thing i think that amber could do is to exploit the outrage of what's happening right now they are legitimate hands down people that would go and see a movie just so they could crap on it because amber is in that movie they are such petty people and the truth of the matter is that still makes studios money <laughs> they don't really care if you hate someone as long as you're willing to go see it and hate on that person over and over again um unfortunately it takes a lot a lot of inner strength and it takes a lot of um you know just being able to let that roll off your back and not pay attention to it in order to get to that particular point but she could really work that to her advantage if she is strong enough and if she's got a good enough pr team that is working with her to cultivate that particular image um and also if she's got very good protection very good like bodyguard support because some people be crazy like if you know anything about k-pop you should know about the say songs by now because some people be crazy and yeah um to put this into a little bit of retrospect think about miley cyrus she had to change her whole image specifically because of the contractual agreements that had her full name on it with Disney they had control over every, like basically they had control over everything that she did so she didn't have the option to not do something drastic so they would release her from their contractual obligations so um that's why we got to see Miley bangers <laughs> you know we got to see that aspect of Miley because she she didn't have much of another choice to to getting her own name back and amber could do something along those lines however it would be a little bit difficult because amber has already currently been portrayed as the bad girl as the cheater as the liar as the you know she's she's got all these negative connotations directed at her right now so to add to that negativity might not be a good idea for her long term career however if she maybe switches it up and tries the 110% um going on the side of the public good girl type of image laying low staying out of the media not getting into physical altercations with anyone even animals and then i think that she should come out okay maybe like in the next 5 to 8 years things should be okay for her um i know that's a little bit difficult for a lot of people to comprehend because many people feel hurt on Johnny's behalf um many people feel angry because they believed her initially and they acted against Johnny just on the basis that she said this happened and many people feel lied to by her but i do think that we need to make room for change and we need to make room for rehabilitation when it comes to abusers because we cannot remove every single abuser off the face of the earth there's some people right now watching this who have no idea that they are being abusive in some ways so i think that we need to just address that and make sure that the world is a safe place for everyone uh, through rehabilitation of abusive people and through identifying our own abusive traits self abuse is also abuse So yeah, that's what I have to say on the issue. Let me know what you think. Um I to be honest with you, I'm expecting a lot of backlash. <laughs> I'm expecting people to say, "How can you support Amber?" But I think that it's important to remember that Amber is a young mother. She's got a daughter, and they both deserve to have a good, healthy, happy life. And also, the child deserves to be protected from an environment of abuse. So I think that's important to remember. But yeah, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section and also don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for your scripture of the day.
Advertise indicated all the following speech quotations are taken from the Holy Bible, New Living Translation, with copyright by Glendale House Foundation. Use by permission of Glendale House Publishers or rights reserved. Then that is it from me. I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day further because you absolutely deserve it. Cheerio. Chocolate.